two of good news to go. Jordan, I loved yesterday. I loved hitting your pause button. Man, where's your pause button go? I don't have the pause button today. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the pause button today. <laughs> come on, man, where did this come from? You hit the pause button a little hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess this means today, I'll read the story. And I'll explain it. Pause me and explain it. Sounds yeah, good. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. All right, guys. Today, we're going to read a story from the book of John, John chapter 4. Not that John. Not this John. Different John. He has an H. All right. You've almost knocked the breath out of me. <laughs> Go easy on my buttons a little bit, okay? We're going to start at verse 3, okay? The Bible says this. He left Judea and departed again to Galilee. He needed to go through Samaria. Okay, now the Bible says he needed to go to Samaria, but we're going to learn that he had to go to Samaria for a special meeting. Let's hear about this. Ooh, man, thanks Jordan. <laughs> so he came to the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary from his journey, sat by the well. It was about the sixth hour. Can you imagine Jesus, fully God, fully man, tired? But I guess that's why he's fully man. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink, for his disciples had gone away into town to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, how is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? And this time, the Jews and Samaritans did not like each other. So this woman was just so amazed that Jesus was talking to her. For the Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Then the woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where were you going to get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us this well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock? Okay, so we know that the well was deep. And it probably had to take a bucket, a rope to get down and get the water. Jesus didn't have that. So the woman was confused. Where is Jesus going to get this water from? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water again will thirst. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up to everlasting life. Jesus was not talking about this kind of water. No. <laughs> was talking about everlasting water. The life that God will give if we put our faith and trust into him. Then the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not have to come here and draw. Jesus said to her, go call your husband and come here. Then the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Uh-oh. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband, because you have had five husbands, and the one who you live with now is not your husband, so you spoke truly. The woman said to him, sir, I perceive that you're a prophet. Jesus knew everything about this woman. Jesus knew her sins. He knows my sins. He knows your sins. And the woman was just amazed. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. And at this point, the disciples came, and they marveled that he talked with this woman. Yet no one said, what do you seek, or why are you talking with her? The woman left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Oh, man, what a great story. Good. I love that, don't you? What, what happened? I guess it's raining. Raining? What an incredible story. This woman got so excited, Jordan, that she left her water pot behind and she ran to the city to tell everybody the good news that go. she met the Christ. She met Jesus. She went to go draw water to drink. We need water to live. Yeah, we do. But she got so excited that she had met Jesus that she left her water pot behind, ran all the way back to town, and told everybody the good news that Jesus was there. Man, that's good. The good news to, to go. go. The good news to go, guys. 
That is what is so beautiful. Not just that Jesus died and rose again for our sins, but that we are able to take that good news to a lost world that needs him so bad. You know, Jordan, whenever we talk about taking the good news to go, sometimes the kids might not know exactly what I'm talking about. It's talking about inviting people to church yeah. or telling them about Jesus themselves. I've got three different ways that you might want to invite somebody to church. And I want you guys to watch and tell me which way is probably the best way to do this, okay? okay. So I want you to pretend like you're my friend. You are my friend, aren't you? But let's pretend like we're friends and we're just out and we're throwing a frisbee back and forth. Okay. Okay. Sounds and good. when I ask you if you go to church, you just say no. Okay. okay. We'll pretend, even though you do. All right. Hey, man, how's it going? Whoa. Good 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 man. That's a good cool dude. shirt you got there. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You had a pretty good summer? Uh, it's been okay. It's been pretty good, I guess. Yeah. It's a little crazy with all the stuff going on, I know, but it's yep. pretty good. Hey, can I ask you a question? What's up? Do you go to church anywhere? No. You don't go to church! What's wrong with you? You're in big trouble, mister! You're go that is not the way you want to be asked if you go to church or how you want to respond to someone. Oh, so, no, that was not the good way, was it? I'm sorry, I got a little excited there. Some people might try to get people to come to church. That's not the way to tell them. Not, not the a good way. way. So that was the first way, and it was a bad way. Here's the second way that you might take the good news to go. Okay. Hey, Jordan, you doing okay, buddy? Whoa. Pretty good, John, yourself? Doing good. Got any big plans for this weekend? Uh, oh, I'm going on vacation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Well, that'd be fun. Going swimming and stuff? Oh, yeah. Beaching. I love swimming. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Fun indeed. I like going to the beach. Beach is swell. Hope you have a good time there. Probably will. Okay, that's the second way to share the good news, to take it and tell somebody about Jesus. You didn't share it with me. That way stunk, didn't it? It was not good. I gotta tell you guys, sometimes that's the way we share the good news. We don't ever do it. We see people every day, people that we love, people that we care about, but we never mention one thing about Jesus or about coming to church or anything like that, man, we need to love people more than that, don't we? Yeah. So here's the third way that you might want to take the good news to go. Here we go, Jordan, ready? Oh, good throw. Thanks, man. Nice catch. Ooh, ooh, good job. Hey, man, what you doing this weekend? Oh, uh, oh, not too sure. Really? Hey, Sunday, I wonder if you might come to church with me. It's this place, we have a good time, we, we learn about Jesus, and Jesus is incredible, he changed my life. I would love if you might come to church with me. What do you think? Well, I think I could come with you on, one, on a Sunday. Cool, man. Yeah. That would be awesome. I'll see you then. What about that? It's pretty good. It wasn't too hard. Nope. Pretty simple. Just like we learned yesterday, how that man went home and told his friends the good news, that's kind of what I did. Wasn't that easy? Just invite my friend to come to church with me? Any of us could do that, can't yeah. we? And you weren't trying to beat me up. No, I didn't try to beat you up. And I certainly didn't not say anything about yeah. Jesus. That was yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I hope that these guys can do that too. Oh, I, I hope know they that can. you get somebody in your mind that you might be able to invite to church this weekend. We would love to see your friends here because I want them to hear about the good news that Jesus loves them and died for. Man, it's been a good day. It has been. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. <laughs>